Hello everyone, this is Boricua Binks and welcome back to Let's Play Zero Escape Virtue's Last Reward. In the last episode, uh, we had a mystery on our hands because we have two more people who are now dead. And we also have Quirk who is missing. So uh, after doing another AB game, uh, everybody's... Well, there was a lot of betrayal going around. <laughs> I decided to betray Kay because I knew he would betray us. Um, so now we're gonna have to uh, maybe investigate before we open the next, the next chromatic doors. All right. As many times as we want, huh? That means we can play the AB game over and over using these star keys, right? So it would seem. All right. Well. Where do we find them? Beyond the next set of chromatic doors. Those white doors. Oh? You found them already? Yeah, that's right. Forgot to tell you guys. Take a look at the map. There are three white doors in the Floor B warehouse. White doors, huh? Maybe that's where Quark went. But how? Yeah, that's not possible. The warehouse on floor B, you said? Yeah, but you're not going to be able to get through them until they open. Oh. We've still got more than 80 minutes until that happens. Damn. Yeah. We will need to form groups of colors that can make white. Hmm. Time we had a look at all our colors then. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Looks like they've been shuffled around again. Looks like I'm, uh... Blue Solo. Okay. I'm a magenta. Hair. Who's your partner? As am I. Oh, okay. You and me, huh? Better than Dio, I guess. <laughs> you say something. What color are you? I'm a green solo. <sighs> oh no. Does that mean she's stuck with him again? What's with the sigh? Forget about it. <laughs> yeah, she'll tell us in a few minutes. What about you two? Cyan pear. I'm a cyan pear too. Okay. Alice and Luna's bracelets have changed as well. They would have been together. Both of them are yellow pears. Then, what color is Quark? Red? He's a red solo. Yeah. But how is anybody gonna get through if Quark is not found? Oh boy. In order to open the white doors, you'd normally need, say, red, blue, and green. Mm -hmm. But solos can't group together, right? That's why the pairs are magenta, yellow, and cyan. Magenta is a mix of red and blue. Yellow is a mix of red and green. Cyan is a mix of blue and green. So if you combine magenta with green, you get white. And so on. So confusing, this color stuff. <laughs> but it's interesting, too. I see. Okay, then. We just need to get to the Floor B warehouse when the doors open, right? I'll be taken off, then. Yeah. Where do you think you're going? Anywhere that isn't here. Hanging out with a murderer? Doesn't sound like a good time to me. Oh, go ahead. Go off alone so somebody could kill you. <laughs> the guy who insists on splitting up is usually the first to bite it. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, then again, loners often turn out to be killers. Just what are you getting at, old man? You think I kill him? Well, maybe, maybe not. But you're pretty damn suspicious. Yep. You're trying to start something, you wrinkled old piece of... <laughs> hey. Knock it off. We don't actually know one of us is the killer, do we? We have no evidence of that, no. But we do know that Zero Senior is one of us. And there is an excellent chance that Zero Senior and the killer are one and the same. 
Then why did he kill Alice and Luna now? If Zero Senior wanted any of us dead, he could have done it way before this. Well, we were, I don't know, unconscious, for instance? What's the point of setting up this whole game just to kill off two of your participants halfway through? Wait, then are you saying there's another person in here somewhere? I don't know. It's possible. I think it might be a good idea for us all to all look for the killer. Well, we gain nothing by standing around here. Yeah. I've got to find Quark, and soon. Yeah. If we're going to search, we should go in pairs this time. How are we going to pair up, then? I'm not going with Kay. <laughs> he decides he feels like snapping me in half. There's not a whole hell of a lot I can do about it. <laughs> I'll go with anyone besides Dio. Who's going to go with Dio, then? I don't want to go with Dio, either. <laughs> Fine. He's hardly my first choice, but I'll take Dio. Fine, you are a brave woman, but look at that face. Oh, <laughs> you poor girl. What the hell? <laughs> Just figured that this way we don't have to make this into a huge argument. Besides, I'm gonna be stuck with you once we go through the chromatic doors anyway. Oh. No reason to put it off. Man, that's like two or three rounds in a row that she's stuck with him. I think it's two. I will go with Sigma. Oh? You want to go with your, your daddy? <laughs> oh yeah? Would you prefer someone else? No, I guess you're okay. That leaves me and Clover as a pair then. Yep. Looks like we're all set. We'll take the cyan door on floor A and the blue door on floor B. Okay. Alright, Clover and I will take the magenta door and the red door. That leaves us with the yellow and green doors, then. Once we're all done, let's meet in the Floor B warehouse, alright? Got it. See you later, then. Okay. I'll spend time with my boy. Okay, infirmary. The dead woman's body should still be here. There's no one in the infirmary. No quark and no killer, at least as far as I can see. Well, there is someone here. Yep. Technically, at least. The old woman. Oh, yeah. She was lying silently on the bed furthest away from us. If it weren't for the bloodstains on her chest and arm, her peaceful expression would could have fooled most people into thinking she was just asleep. The blood had dried and darkened, and now looked like any other stain. That was when I noticed it. Huh? She had a bracelet. Oh. Wait a minute. Look at her wrist. It seems remarkably clean. Yeah. For some reason, there's no blood on this part. Maybe she had something on her wrist. A watch, perhaps. A watch? Yes. It was likely removed after she was killed. That would account for the lack of blood splatter on her wrist. A watch, huh? I don't know. It just looks like it was kind of wide for a watch. Aren't women's watches usually... thinner? Yeah. You raise a good point. Perhaps it was some kind of jewelry? Jewelry? You mean like a bracelet or some... Mm-hmm. Of course. Why didn't I see it sooner? This is the same size and shape as our bracelets. Look, look, it's exactly the same width. Then that would mean... She was wearing a bracelet when she was killed. She was a participant, just like us. Are you sure? This old woman, a player in the nonary game. Hmm. But that would make ten people. Okay? Is something wrong? Oh, no. Nothing. Hmm. If you're correct, then where did the thief hide the stolen bracelet? We were quite thorough during our earlier search, but I know that I saw nothing, and none of the others reported finding a bracelet either. Then that means they've been holding on to it this whole time. They've probably still got it. That would seem likely. No, 
wait. If they'd been carrying it around, the sensors in the chromatic doors would have picked it up. Without the right combination of bracelets, the secondary door would never have opened. Oh. So our suspect is not only a killer and a thief, but a skilled imposter as well. Yeah, they must have put on the bracelet. What are you saying? After killing the old woman, they put on her bracelet. Yep. In fact, it is entirely possible they are wearing it still. Yes, that would make sense. Hmm. So the killer's running around with the old woman's bracelet. So they should still have blood on the bracelet, right? Unless they were able to wipe it off. Yes. Oh, wait! We have luminal! We have luminal in the rec room! Oh, snap! And you're telling me they're probably wearing it? Correct. Do you remember what Zero Jr. told us? Something about how the bracelet will come off if the wearer's heart stops. Yeah. I don't recall the exact words. But in any event, once the old woman had died, her bracelet would have detached, allowing the killer to easily collect it. Why? So that they could participate in the nonary game, I imagine. What? I suspect the killer was someone who was not originally intended to be a participant. Mm -hmm. For whatever reason, however, they were willing to go to great lengths to ensure that they were. Interesting. To that end, they killed the old woman, who was one of the original participants, and took her place. And Zero Senior just let it happen? Why would someone do that? That? Hmm. I have no idea. Certainly they must have a goal of some sort. You would have to be mad to choose to come here. Yeah. But as to what that goal is, and how the killer intends to achieve it, I'm afraid I do not have even speculation. Hmm. That's... interesting. Have you noticed something? Well, there's blood all over the old lady's arm, except for right here. Since that's where the bracelet was, then the bracelet the killer stole should have blood on it. Right. But none of us is wearing a bloody bracelet. Sigma, please tell me you're kidding. <laughs> the killer would have, of course, wiped the blood off. Yeah. Only a fool would walk around with a bracelet covered in blood. Yep. So you're saying they cleaned it? Yes. Hmm. Have you discovered something? Here we go. Come on. Use your brain. Let's figure out the killer. Yes. Kay. I know how we can identify the killer. Oh? We just need some of that luminal. It doesn't matter how well they cleaned it. There should be some traces of blood left. Aha. Uh -huh, I see. Nice. That could very well work. Ooh, we're in a good timeline, man. We're in a good uh, route. I like it. Juicy. We should have everyone gather in the rec room, then. That is where the luminol was, I believe. Yep. Yeah. First, we need to finish looking for Corp, though. We've still got the infirmary and everything beyond the green door. Once we're done with that, we can head back to floor B to meet up with everyone else. Understood. Shall we go, then? Yeah. Okay, this is new. There's three doors here, too. The same as what we found on the other side of the blue door. But... Mm, I only see a label for the one in the middle. It looks like two of them are already unlocked. So it does. The center and rightmost doors both say open. Yeah. Perhaps the layout here is different. Hmm. Whatever. <laughs> what was that? Let's take the door on the right first. Okay. Golem Bay. Oh, I forgot about this room. Interesting. Hmm. Very empty. Huh, what's this room? That looks like a workbench of some sort. Maybe, but what sort of work? 
Well, we're here to find Quark. Now look at the workbench. You go check out the far end, all right? Very well. Okay. Nothing. He's not here either. Hey, Kay. How's it going over there? Kay? Can you hear me? Kay was bent over with his back to me, peering underneath the thing that looked like a workbench. What the hell? I walked toward him as I spoke. Hey man, what's going on here? Oh, nothing. Mm-hmm. I bent down and saw he was staring at something that appeared to be a safe. It's empty. Yes. Was there something in there before? No, it was empty when I found it. Was it? Hmm. Yes. Then, what are you doing staring into an empty safe? I was... thinking. Specifically, I was thinking about who opened this safe. Okay. Wouldn't that have been the team that went through the green door? I think that was Dio, Fi, and Clover. No, that's unlikely. When we met up with Dio, he told us that he had been in the treatment center. Oh, that's right. So then, huh. The nameplate on this door says this is the Gollum Bay, however. Yeah. So you're saying they didn't go here? I believe that is the case. Uh-oh. Which, as you can see, is why I was puzzled. If Dio, Fi, and Clover did not open the safe, who did? Oh, dear. Hmm. Well, there's no point thinking about it. We should get back. Yes, there was another unlocked door, wasn't there? Yep. Well, let's get moving, then. Mystery for later. Okay, treatment center. So, this is the treatment center, huh? This is the room that Dio visited. Don't you think that's kind of strange? Until now, all the chromatic doors have led to a single room each. So why are there two rooms on the other side of the green door? An excellent question. We can talk to the others later, I guess, and see if they know anything. Kay and I split up and began to look for places where Quark might have hidden, or small holes he might have escaped through. I already see something that's a little strange over there. Huh. What are these? They must be the treatment pods Dio mentioned. The window's all covered with frost on the inside. I can't see in. Shall we open it? Yes, might as well. Have at it. Green is blue. What? what? There he is. Wait. <gasps> Something's missing. Quark. No. Oh no. His his bracelet. It's Oh god. Hold on, Sigma. Calm down. Look at his chest. Can you see it moving? Oh. What? I quickly pressed a finger to Quark's wrist. He was faint, but his heartbeat was there. He's... he's alive. He's alive! <sighs> what a relief. Yeah. I'm so glad to know he's safe. What the heck is going on? I laughed out loud and grabbed Kay in a bear hug. <laughs> or at least as much of one as I could manage. Oh. He patted me on the back and shared what I thought might have been a relieved chuckle. But if he's still alive, why is his bracelet off? Zero Junior said it would only come off when you died. Perhaps Zero Senior took it off? What? Why? I have no idea. Then maybe Zero Senior brought Quark here and put him in this pod thing too. 
Well, even if you did, you don't have any way to know why. This pod is for medical treatment. Perhaps Quark has contracted some sort of illness. Well, he was acting really crazy before. He's sick? What has he got? Well, how would I know that? In any event, we should return and let the rest of our companions know that we found Quark. Mm -hmm. I imagine Tenmyoji in particular will be pleased. Yeah. Yeah, I bet. Do you think you can carry him, or...? No. I believe it would be best to leave Quark here. Yeah, he's safe. As I mentioned, there is a chance he has fallen ill. Yeah. If so, then removing him from the pod would be dangerous. The treatment he is currently undergoing could be compromised. True. Oh. I'll close the pot's cover then. Is that all right? Yeah. Sure. Well, we lost Luna and Alice, but at least Quark is safe. Wait, um, I just thought of something. Are you sure he's going to be all right? What do you mean? Well, what happens if he wakes up? Can he open that thing on his own? He'll be fine. I noticed a lever inside that can be used to open the cover. So long as no one locks the pod, he should be able to leave whenever he wants. Okay. But if someone locks him in, he's screwed? Yes, that is what I said. But you needn't worry. You see? I have not engaged the lock. Okay. Now, we should return to the Floor B warehouse. Yeah, we still gotta solve the mystery with the luminol. I imagine the others are already there. Yeah. Right, yeah. Okay, let's go. I guess I think we're gonna have to do the luminal thing after. You're late. You're one to talk. How much earlier did you get back again? <laughs> I'd be surprised if you searched at all. This is it? Yeah. Clover and Tenmyoji still aren't back. So, find anything? Yeah, we sure did. Yeah? Well, go on, spill it. Explain to them how we'd found Quark in the treatment center. I see. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Little jerk, making us all worried. <laughs> like you actually cared? There is more. And that is? There is still some cause for concern. Just spit it out. Quark may have contracted an illness of some sort. Yeah. As such, he has been left in the treatment pod. Will he be alright? Yeah, well, probably... Probably? Do you even... Whatever, at least we found him. Pretty lucky he's alive, too. What do you mean by that? I mean what I said, genius. <laughs> he's like, he's lucky I didn't find him or else I would've killed him myself. <laughs> That's totally what Dio was thinking. I'm glad he's not dead, aren't you? As equivocal as ever, I see. <laughs> How kind of you to say so. So, was Quark all you found? The way you were talking made it sound like there was something else. Yeah, I'll explain that after Tenmyoji and Clover get back. There's something I wanted to ask you about first, though. When you went through the green door, did you search two different rooms? Two? No, just the treatment center. I see. What was the other one? What do you mean, the other one? You know where there's that intersection with three doors? Well, when Kay and I went there, two of the doors were unlocked. You guys unlocked the one that went to the treatment center when you went through the green door. But the other one... Who could have opened it? Don't look at me. I told you, we only opened the one that went to the treatment center. Could it have been Zero Senior? I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, strange. So did you and Kay go through the other door? Yeah. What was in there? Nothing, really. It appeared to be some sort of room for servicing something. That doesn't make any sense. So what the hell was whoever opened that door looking for? Who knows? Tenmyoji and Clover are running rather late. Yeah. Should we go and look for them? No, there's something I want to check first. It's never easy with you, is it? Well, let's get it over with. What are we gonna check then? That room? 
Oh. Huh. Oh, we're going to do this now. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm excited. <laughs> this is the rec room. Hmm, well, we don't have everyone here, so we could be missing some suspects, but oh well. Huh. Dio and I came here earlier when we were looking for Quark. So why are we here? Was there something here you needed to see? <laughs> yes. I said nothing, and instead made my way over toward the cabinet. Inside was the luminal. I reached in and pulled it out, then headed to the light switch and flipped it. Darkness. <laughs> the room went dark, and I headed back to where the others were still standing. Whoa, whoa, what is this? Uh, a fancy show. <laughs> you gonna start telling ghost stories or something? Sure. Why? You scared of ghosts? <laughs> You're kidding me, right? Then show me how brave you are. Stick out your bracelet. You too, Fi. Please. Our bracelets? Yeah. I want to see the underside of them. What do you mean by that? I mean the side on the bottom. The side that doesn't have the display on it. Come on, are you really gonna make me explain this? I know what you mean. <laughs> what I'm asking is what the hell you think you're... Just do it. It's not hard. Just do it. <laughs> Should I also participate? No, you're fine, Kay. Your bracelet is a little different from ours. But I'll join in just to make it fair. Yeah, that's good. There was a brief moment of hesitation before Dio and Fi stuck out their arms. I held mine out as well, wrist pointed upward. This okay? Yeah. Just hold it like that for a moment. As fast as I could, I pulled the luminal from my pocket and sprayed it across all three of our wrists. <laughs> Cold. <laughs> what the hell, man? Dio jerked his arm back with a shout. Don't see anything glowing. Of course not, because it's Fi, right? And we know we didn't do it. Fly's bracelet is clean. So is mine, of course. That leaves only Dio. Mm-hmm. Wait, what are you talking about? I'll explain in a minute. Just show me your bracelet. Uh-oh. Something wrong. Just show it to me. Come on, Dio. We don't have time for this. Why do I have to do what you tell me to? Because I'm trying to prove your innocence. Well, like hell you are. I don't know what you're looking for, but you're not gonna find it on me. Then just show me your arm. No! You don't get to order me around, I have rights! No you don't, fool! <laughs> As he spoke, Dio made a break for the exit. He didn't get far. I'm afraid I can't let you do that, Dio. Yeah. <laughs> Get him. He spun around toward the other exit. Stop him. Right. Don't know what you're talking about, but okay. All three of us leapt at Dio. Oh. He got him. Aha. I knew it. Of course it was him. All along it was you, Dio. <laughs> His bracelet's glowing. And that means. Let me go! Nope. Get off of me, you fuckers! <laughs> oh man, we just started this LP and we already found the bad guy, yeah! Dio. You killed the old lady. No! You don't understand! This is all some kind of. a mistake! Nah. Shit! <laughs> What's going on here? I think it's about time you gave us the full story. As quickly as I could, I explained to Fi what Kai, K K Kai, what Kay and I had noticed in the old woman's wrist. So the person with the bloody bracelet would have to be the person who killed her. Yeah, exactly. Even if they'd wiped it off, I figured the luminal would still react to the blood. Looks like I was wrecked. Point all dramatically and say, Take that! <laughs> or, Objection! 
You were the one who did it, and then the cornered theme music starts playing. <laughs> We've got you, Dio. You might as well confess. Well? <laughs> Alright, fine. You caught me. I did it. <laughs> I killed the old bitch and took her bracelet. Wow, toxic. Why? Are you Zero? No. I was under orders. I was sent here to... to do... something. Hmm. To do what? Who gave you this order? I'll die before I tell you. Hmm. That can be arranged. <laughs> so your orders were more important than Alice and Luna's lives? Whoa, whoa, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I killed the old lady, but that's it. Hmm. I don't know anything about what happened to Alice and Luna. That wasn't you? Tread carefully, Sigma. This man is not to be trusted. He has already shown he is willing to lie and kill. True. Come on, I'm telling the truth. You gotta believe me. Even if we do believe you, you're still a killer. You just haven't killed as many people. Mm -hmm. Exactly. He should be restrained somehow. If we leave him be, he may well kill again. True. Where will we put him? Is there a room we can lock or anything? Ah, perhaps we could put him in one of the treatment pods. Oh, he can't get out. Yeah. Once we've locked it, he should be unable to escape. Nice. Oh, yeah. Hey, wait! I'll be good, I, I promise! Yeah, I think you're onto something, Kay. Let's go with that. Come on, please! Hey, listen to me! We'll let you out when the white doors open. Someone's going to need your bracelet to open the secondary door. Don't fuck with me, you guys! There's no way in hell I'm going in that thing! Yes, you are. Let go! Let me go! <laughs> God damn it! I told you assholes to let me go! And what, you just expect us to say, Yeah, sure, we'll totally let you go if you could kill us. No. Pool. You can't do this! Stop! Stop! Please stop! Please! No, you can't! <laughs> Dude, calm down. <laughs> it's over. It's over, you fool. Yeah, I feel good. We solved a mystery. Woo! Alright, he's in there. Aha! Open this fucking thing! <laughs> I said open it, goddammit! I don't think so. Ah, you're gonna pay for this! When I get out of here, I'm gonna fucking end you! Uh, yeah. You're giving us even less reason to let you out, dude. <laughs> so, I guess we figured out who the murderer was. And we found Quark. Now all that's left to do is find Clover and Tenmyoji. Yeah, that's not good that they've been gone all this time. Yeah. Why don't we head back to the warehouse and start from there? They may have already returned. True. Good point. Let's go. Okay, we're back. Hello? Guys? Why are they still missing? That's not good. Well, we'll have to find out in the next episode. Woo, this one was good. I felt good about catching Dio. <laughs> I mean, he was such an obvious villain anyway. But yeah, this was fun. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this. And until next time, have a nice day. Bye!